and I'm here working on my quilters patch so along I'm actually trying to work on month seven and I also did some adjustments to a block that I made earlier I don't know if you recall where I made a block that was totally white background and I didn't like it with the other blocks so I did end up tea dyeing that block and then what happened once I tea dyed it is that the block then shrunk a little bit I have the right coloring that I wanted but my block went from 12 and a half inches unfinished to 12 inches and then even though the block was the right coloring it was still just a little too plain for me so I thought that I would just share with you what I did with that block so here is my completed block I didn't take pictures of it as I went along but I just took one of my tulip fabric marking pens I actually did a review on these pens and I'll put a link up above just click on the eye up above in the upper right hand corner of the video and you can watch my review on that but I used that pen and just decided to make like sixes and nines or pins with a curl however you want to look at them I was not consistent but overall I feel like the overall effect is really good and it blends in well with my other blocks when I first started, I thought maybe this was a bad idea, but I know that I can always use it in an extra block quilt. But I really like it here. And then because the block was now uh, smaller, I did go ahead and re-square it up. And then I added an inch and a quarter strip on one side and the top. And then I squared that up to 12 and a half inches. And I did look at the pattern and let me zoom out so I can show you on the book here I did look on the pattern and saw that between these two blocks there wasn't any space so I said oh that would be a good place to put my extra strip and then it will have an extra strip up at the top I didn't want to put it on the bottom because all of these blocks kind of anchor the bottom row there so there was some planning as to where I was going to put my extra pieces. And they are not straight, but the block itself is straight. Because when I put it into the hot water with the tea, then the block kind of shrunk a little bit. So I'm now happy with the block. At first I thought I was going to have to make a new one. But I'm glad that I am able to use it this way. Well first, before we talk about the blocks, we're going to do things a little different this time because I'm so late and working on these blocks and I need to get this video up right away uh, first off I just want to give a quick tip on these two blocks you have a lot of pieces that you're cutting and I like to just take pieces of painters tape and I just tear pieces off and then I write the alphabet to indicate what part of the block I'm going to be using that piece for so that way I'm not remeasuring as I'm making the block and then I take those pieces and I stick them on the outer edge of my cutting board. And I'll insert a picture so you can see that. And then as I'm cutting pieces, I can then go ahead and pull those pieces off the edge. And go ahead and put them on the fabrics as I cut. So another change for this month is that I have already pre-cut everything. I have pre-cut for both of those blocks. I'm going to go ahead and give you my information on both blocks. Because there's not much difference from month to month. There's nothing really new this month. The only thing that I'll say is on your sweet pea block. You do have some different measurements for your stems. So just be aware of what you're cutting for your stems. And then we do have a paper piece section. And I just copied this straight from the book. And when I copied it I made sure that my copy was the exact size of what it needed to be for the finished block and mine's did come out the correct size so I don't have to make any adjustments but if I had to make some adjustments I would just make sure that I had extra fabric laying on the outside of the pattern as I was paper piecing and then I would just trim that block 
larger and not and I'll ignore the seam allowances on the actual paper piece unit but mine's copied the exact size so I don't have that issue and then that's uh just paper piecing that unit I've got videos on paper piecing so I'm not going to really go into that one and then on the bachelor's button block you also have another paper piece unit where they're having you make your half square triangles you actually need to have two of those to make half square triangles for your leaves and i think she's just trying to get you some different techniques throughout the quilt so you can use it as a learning sampler so i think that's why she did that if you don't want to do the paper piecing of the half square triangles you can just cut your units to the appropriate size if you like and we did have to cut some diamonds this month for the bachelor's button block. So these are my diamond fabrics. And it's, they have you cut three strips from 10 inch square. I just cut one strip from a yardage to fabric and just cut the number of pieces that I needed. And that was a lot quicker to, for me than to cut three strips and then to three strips from two different fabrics and then go and cut those into the pieces that I needed. I just cut it from a long strip. So I'm just going to go ahead and start piecing these blocks. And I'm back with my completed block. This is the sweet pea block. And I just wanted to say that you will have some extra pieces when you're piecing this block. You'll have an extra A half square triangle and an extra Q half square triangle. And I am just going to go ahead and sew those two together and use them in some future project. And then the half square triangle on the bottom, you will end up with an extra half square triangle just because you needed five of those instead of six, but you make them in pairs. So this block, I would say the sewing was pretty simple. You do need to be careful when sewing your stems because they're so tiny you really don't have enough room for both of the seam allowances to overlap so it's a little bulky when you're sewing so just something to be cautious of there. So I'll just go ahead and sew the bachelor's button block next. Hi I'm back and I have sewn two of these Lemoyne star blocks and I will tell you that they are beasts to sew. The one on the left I actually sewed according to the directions in the book except that I decided to mark the one quarter inch sewing line on the back. So let me show you that. So so you can see where I have drawn my quarter inch sewing lines. When I drew the sewing lines on the star pieces, I drew on both the pink and the red diamonds. So that way I had a choice on which side I wanted to sew. And then when I marked on the triangles in this area here, I only did it on the inside edges as well as on the square. I only did it on the inside edges. Also, when you start to sew... I did start sewing from the end and then I stopped one quarter inch in and this center here is how they tell you how to do it in the book where you start in the center go out start in the center and go out um, it's not as accurate as the one where I sew just straight across for some reason actually the seam is this way but it's still not as accurate this has one point that's off and this has to me more points that are off because it has a little tiny hole in the middle. If you just made half square triangles and squares that are in a even grid, this is not a true even grid maybe because it's more of a nine patch instead of a four patch or a 16 patch block. But I would do that instead because this is very time consuming. I think it took me about 40 minutes to piece each one of these blocks. So that's over an hour and about 20 minutes to piece two blocks. And I still have one more to go. So I just thought I would give you that tip. So here is my completed block. 
I do have to square it up. I haven't squared it up yet, but this one was a chore. I'd say that this was the hardest block we've had so far. So, and it's only because it's more time consuming and the pieces are so tiny. I'll add a picture at the end of the two blocks that I made with the block that I also adjusted. 